Coming up on Network Africa. Liberia Supreme Court delays hearing on disputed presidential elections. And Mozambique government under fire for buying fortified productive cars. Plus, Burkina Faso marks three years since popular uprising ended President Blaise Compaore's 27-year rule. Hello and welcome to the program. I am BC at Debayo. We begin today in Liberia, where the Supreme Court has delayed hearing on the disputed presidential elections until Friday. This increases the chances of Tuesday's run of poll being postponed. A court spokesperson told local media that procedural reasons prevented the case from being heard today. The opposition Liberal Party, Charles Brumsini, had challenged the outcome of last month's election, saying it was marred by massive fraud and irregularities. The runoff election is due to be contested by former football star Judd Ware and Vice President Joseph Bakai. Liberians are hopeful that despite the legal role, there will a legal row, there will be a peaceful transition of power. Now, when you receive an anonymous gift, should you be suspicious or not? That's the question running through the minds of Gambia's members of parliament after an anonymous gift of pickup trucks was sent to the National Assembly. Some members were pleased with the gift, but others were angered, saying it could just be a bribe. A gift of more than 50 double cabin pickup trucks given to Gambia's National Assembly members has raised concerns that the government of Adama Barrow, less than one year in power, risks being compromised. The donation handed to MPs about a month ago has pleased some, but angered others who say the government should not accept gifts that could be used to exert undue influence. We have to be transparent. I want to know where it comes from and then to be accountable to the electorate at the end of the day. So I want to know whether it is coming from the public post, from the national budget, and uh, people ought to know also. I have a different opinion from them. Whether I know the source or not, I need the vehicle and I'm using it in the interest of the Gambia. Critics say the pickup trucks came from a wealthy local businessman seeking to secure government contracts. President Adama Barrow's spokesperson said in a statement that there's nothing sinister in the gifts and that the donor chose to remain anonymous, describing him as a philanthropist who supported the president during his campaign. Meanwhile, Parliament remains divided and there are plans to debate the issue further in the next session in December. What is it, the motive? A wealthy businessman give supporting us with vehicles? No, I wouldn't take that. I wouldn't take any don donation from any wealthy businessman. As an assassin member, that is bribery. One thing I, I, can, I can assure you, no amount of gift would change our decisions, would influence our decisions. This National Assembly is one with a difference. We are looking at the important, the interests of the nation and not individuals. Former President Yaya Jami was accused of widespread violations, including corruption and plundering millions of dollars during his rule. President Barrow took on the task of lifting the nation out of grinding poverty, in part a consequence of Jami's volatile rule, during which thousands of dissenters were jailed and many businesses taken over. And while the Gambian MPs decide what to do with their exotic cars, the government of Mozambique has come under fire for buying 45 exotic cars worth $2 million in a time of austerity. Civil society activists would rather have the government spend the same amount on purchases for passenger transport. A government spokesperson, Anna Kumana, declined to comment on the matter, but asked journalists to contact the National Directorate of State Assets, which ordered the vehicles. Economists say this revelation discredits the government's austerity measures as it gives the impression that the government is joking with the people. Now let's talk more about this with the national coordinator of a group known as the Activists for Good Governance, Declan Ihikairi. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Now let's begin with the Gambia where an unidentified person gave 57 trucks to members of the National Assembly. Do you agree with some of the legislators that it could be a form of bribe for them to compromise their decisions? 
Yeah, of course, it's, it's very, very clear. When you say unidentified person, giving up such uh, a huge sum of uh, uh, vehicles you know, to legislators, and uh, you have said before then as an audit unidentified. You see, it, it baffles people like us when we hear things of this nature. Most government in Africa always want to cover up you know, the, the, the atrocities by bringing up terminologies, and it's very, very difficult to, 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 to cover up. When you say unidentified in the government, unidentified with vehicles that were purchased with money, unidentified with vehicles that have NG numbers, that have documentations, then it's, it behoves on the government to unveil the mask or the legislators that have conscience should discredit ownership of such vehicles. Oh, you spoke about atrocities just now. What atrocities could they possibly be trying to cover up? Uh, of course, of course. For any government in Africa to have a say through in any uh, 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 business of trying to manipulate policies, the best bet is to get at the legislators. And, uh, and they, they, they always get across to them through giving them money, giving them uh, gifts, cars, offering them so many things. But the, thing, the, the real issue is this. I want to plead with our legislators to desist from the actions of taking things from the executives. They should be checkers of the excesses of the executives and not a rubber stamp and not legislators who ought to be respected by the executives to be the ones going cap in hand to the executives.